So what's going on guys? Yo, I found a hidden gem. You guys gotta check out this truck here. This is a 2021 Ram 2500 Bighorn. I think this is the perfect truck for towing a decent sized travel trailer. Let's take a look at it. And here it is guys, check this thing out. Perfect truck for towing. Already has the fog lights. It already has the 18 inch wheels so they didn't go crazy with the options. Has the Cummins, but that's okay. Every truck they have here has the Cummins. But check this out, guys. There it is. Oh boy, guys, has air suspension. So I've been wanting to do another video to kind of get a good feel for the ride again. I haven't driven one of these in a while because they haven't had them on a lot. But today we're gonna do a quick walk around. And in the next video, we're gonna do a Weight Watchers. Stay tuned. Really quickly, be sure to subscribe to JB Reviews and make sure you have those bell notifications on. And be sure to check out my other channel, Attainable Exotic Cars. Now let's get back to the video. All right guys, so here's a quick look at the window sticker, Bighorn Crew Cow, four wheel drive. Base price is 45, 575 with the gas engine. 373 axle is gonna come standard with the gas engine. You can get a 410 with that. And here's all your optional equipment. Billet silver, 200 bucks. Has the bucket seats up front, cold weather, sport appearance gives it that painted bumpers and grill. Heavy duty snow plow prep crew. Continues up here with a 220 amp alternator. This has a level two equipment group guys. So this truck does have the seven inch cluster right there. And it does have dual climate control. So just keep that in mind. So that's a good option to have if you want those features. And it's going to have that eight-way power adjustable seat, which is really, really handy, too. Now, to finish everything off, this does have the rubber mats, anti-spin differential rear axle, 6.7 Cummins for 9400 bucks. Tow hooks, clearance lamps, rear wheelhouse liners, and auto-leveling air suspensions, which is the hidden gem on this truck, $1,705. And then spray and bed liner with destination at $16.95. Total price is $66,680 for a Bighorn. Woo! A lot of money. Hey guys, check out that beautiful billet silver. I love these 18s too. I would just put a beefy tire on those bad boys and call it a day. Man, it looks so good. Has that painted bumper front and rear and grill surround. So all this is painted in silver. All the way around. And that's because of the sport appearance package too. Now, if you get a Bighorn, you can get LED headlights. These are gonna be the halogens. They look really nice and they give pretty decent illumination for the most part. And because of that equipment group level two, you get fog lights too. Tow hooks were an option too on this truck too. This does have the parking sensors up front. And let's take a look under the hood. So this does have the optional 6.7 Cummins has that six speed, 68 RF transmission, 370 horsepower, 850 pound feet of torque. One of the most notable changes in 2021 was that CP3 fuel pump. Um, that's a really good thing. And I'm sure they were able to make that work with the fuel system delivery that this truck requires for the high output too. So that high output is gonna have the CP3 also, but the high output is not available on this particular truck because it's 2500, but this is, tons and tons of power based off of the towing numbers for this truck that are limited to your payload we'll go over that in a second although you have the 18 inch wheels ram still gives you these firestone transfer tires they're 275 70s and as far as the capacity goes we'll go over that in the next video because we're going to do weight watchers as i said but man check this out solid front axle and something that i haven't said in a while you see these holes in the um, radius arm here? They changed this in 2019 to really reduce the weight of this truck. Another thing is they did do an aluminum hood too, which is gonna reduce the weight. And this Cummins has compacted graphite iron, and that's gonna reduce the weight for this truck also. So I believe that just that um, compacted graphite iron lowered the weight by like 60 pounds. So this truck's gonna give you more payload. And that's a good thing. Now, as you guys can see on the mirror, you do have a turn signal right here. It's gonna be LED. These mirrors do flip up and allow you to have what I call tow mode. 
You do have the optional clearance lamps up top. Not a lot of chrome on this truck, as you guys can see, even around the windows. It's all black. I love that. It looks really good. They have the painted door handles. Unfortunately, because this is a big horn, you do not have the smart key system. It's not available. You have to step up to a Laramie. Out back, you do have a five link coiled rear suspension standard. However, let's take a quick peek under. You guys can see you have that beautiful air suspension. So when you get air suspension, you do replace those coils, which actually helps with weight savings because you are going to have an air tank and a few components for the air suspension, but you can kind of see it from here. You can see the airbag, but I'll go back behind again. I did that really quickly. I'm sorry. But you can see it right there. And I feel like this system works a lot better with the bed lowering too. I'll show that to you guys in a second too. So yeah, I'm really excited to show you guys the payload capacity because this truck is the perfect three quarter ton if you need a decent sized travel trailer. Now typically, if you are looking at trucks with air suspension, if you don't know if it has or not, they put this decal on the back of the window. So if you don't know if it has it, you can look for that or you can look under the truck and you'll see like a little round bag looking thing like that. Outback painted bumper, as I mentioned, with the sport appearance. You can delete that sticker. So if you're building this truck from the factory on your own, if you don't like that decal, because I would take that off in a heartbeat, you can delete that from the factory. And this tailgate, unfortunately, oh, this has level two equipment. So you do have a dampened tailgate. This was an optional spray and bed liner. Something new for 2021 is this um, plug, 115 volts. 400 watts you can get led lights back here if you like helps with your bed at night and you can get an led um, high mount too with camera for the bed also class 5 receiving hitch with a two and a half inch opening you do have parking sensors out back again that was part of that level two equipment group you have a seven pin and four pin connectors this truck does have blind spot monitoring, so your tail lights are going to be full LED, reverse lights and all. And then just take another moment and just marvel at this beautiful bill of silver, guys. Looks really nice. For a quick reference, they did tint the windows on this truck. I don't know what the percentage is, but it's probably like maybe 35%. Now, this is my favorite interior color for the Bighorn. This is like a diesel gray color on the seats. I really like the look of this. It looks really nice, really good looking truck. Now, the door cards are gonna be black too. And again, the accent with the, the interior color on the seat falls on the trim on the door. You have aluminum look, look on the handles. This does get upgraded with that equipment group too. That equipment group does a lot of things for you. As I see here, it gives you the power folding mirrors also. So you probably want to, if you like a lot of those comfort features, level two equipment group is where you want to be at. I want to say sometimes it even adds these types of things too. You did see on that also it had an eight way power adjustable driver's seat too. It doesn't have memory, but it does give the option to power it though. You do have a power pedals down below too. And then this is how you would turn on that cargo area for the power. And they give you this nice handy grab handle because you're going to need it because this truck does not have any running boards. 7 inch display, 8.4 inch display. You do have an option to do navigation. If I were in the market for a Bighorn, level 2 equipment group would be on my truck. Now, I did give you guys wrong information. I'm sure you're not surprised. Dual climate control is an option for the Bighorn. I think I might have said it wasn't. And with that level two equipment group, I think you can get level one equipment group with heated seats. There might even be a separate package that you can get with the heated seats and steering wheel, but that does come available on this truck. But it won't take too much time to go over this uh, interior. I mean, you did see that this was an option, so you would normally get a six passenger and not have this, so just keep that in mind, okay? Now, one thing that they did add for 2021 was the off-road page inside of this seven inch cluster. And it shows you your drivetrain, and then it shows you your pitch and roll. 
And if you have air suspension, I'm gonna show you guys something on this side where the trailer tow menu is a little bit better too. That shows you, they've always shown this to you here. But one thing that they added was they do trailer light check too. That's something new. My truck doesn't have that. And this is on my truck too. It's a 2019 that I have, but it shows you the distance that you travel with your trailer. Now, if you choose not to get navigation to save a couple of dollars, that's okay because it does have Apple CarPlay so you can use your apps to run your navigation. As I mentioned earlier, this is optional for the dual climate control. It's really hot outside, so we have this thing on low. Trailer brakes just below. And here is your alternate trailer height button. I'm gonna use this little guy here in the system in a second. These exhaust brake, tow haul mode, front and rear parking sensors, and tons of USBs, type A's and type C's, front and rear. And check out those beautiful seats out back too. 6040 bench. The only thing I don't like about the big corner is you cannot get LED lights, and that's a huge uh, blow. They do, however, give you home link, which comes in handy if you have a garage or a gate. This does slide forward and back. Another plug just below. I don't believe you can get a charging station, but if you get that 12-inch display, it might come with that package. So we'll, um, if I have a chance in the video, I'll show that to you. Push button start comes standard full drive system. There's so much about this truck that is just really, really nice. I mean, this is a really well equipped truck and it kind of does justify the price a little bit because there's a lot of comfort features. I mean, even having this covered in the tradesman, this would be like open to the interior. So just, just some nice little, you know, accents to the interior to make it feel and look a little bit more upscale. Again, you have another USB in there. And you have additional storage just below. And one thing I like that they did is they do give you this black headliner too to match the interior. It's gonna be a little bit hotter in here in the summertime, but I mean, who cares? It looks really nice. All right, so what we're gonna do next, we're gonna hit apps and we're going to hit bed lowering. So I'm gonna put the camera outside so hopefully you guys can see what's happening, okay? So what I'll do is I'll hit the button and you know what, here, I'll do two camera views too. That way you guys can see both sides, okay? Hold on one second. All right guys, so here we go. So I'm gonna hit the button now. And I can actually see the hood moving. So I have the camera outside so you guys will see that point of view also. It's saying it's still lowering. Bed lowering complete. And I can actually tell that the truck is lowered. All right, so let's go ahead and check outside. So you can definitely tell that the truck is lower. Like, that looks so... I wish you can drive like that. It looks good. It looks leveled now. <laughs> it looks so good. So I'm going to hit the button again, and then we will see what it looks like again. So then now you guys have an idea what it looks like here. And I'll put it back in this normal right height. All right, guys. So you can hit alternate trailer height, but we're going to just push this button right there. So I'm gonna push it, and now it's raising. Actually, it's raising pretty quickly too. Wow, that was really fast. There you go. Now, if you hit alternate trailer height, it actually is lowering the truck. It's pretty cool. And you can hear like a whistle from the suspension also. There he is. So bed lowering is basically what it stands for. Bed lowering lowers the bed to make it easier to get things inside or for you to jump inside if you need to. Um, you can also use that to lower the hitch also in the back. That way if you want to clear your tongue, you can literally just drop it down, back up, and then raise back up. And then it makes hooking up your trail a lot easier. Now let's go ahead and take this bad boy for a drive, okay? Well guys, if you're in the market for a three quarter ton truck, but you don't want to pull the trigger because of the ride, this is a truck you're going to buy. This ride literally feels like my 1500. I have a 2020 Ram 1500. And let me hit some bumps here, hold on. Oh yeah, that was nothing. All right. I have noticed that the 68 RF is a better transmission. This is so comfortable, oh my goodness. The power feels good. Oh man, this is the truck to have. Man, if they would just raise that payload number, I would definitely jump back in a air suspension three quarter ton truck. 
I mean, this thing feels so good. So quiet. You notice that, I don't know if you guys can see that passenger seat, but it's not shaking. They must have fixed that problem. That was an issue in my truck really bad. And it's even worse with my more aggressive tires, as I've mentioned in other videos. But, man, this is so easy to handle. I love the solid front axle. It does come off more stiffer than the Chevy's IFS. But overall, really good truck. So comfortable, so smooth. This is the best of the best right here. If you want a three quarter ton truck that handles like a half ton, this is the one you want to buy. Air suspension, Ram 2500. And you can pick up a little bit more payload on the lesser trim levels. You can get air suspension from Tradesman all the way up to Limited. So no matter which trim level you want, it's available for you. That's what I love about Ram. A lot of manufacturers do kind of cut your legs off with some of these options. But Ram even gives you blind spot monitoring even on these lower trim levels. So you can get LED lights on the Bighorn. All right, you guys are probably gonna hate me because I'm not gonna show you the payload in this video. You're gonna have to stay tuned for the next video. I'm gonna do a Weight Watchers. I'll go over all the numbers like I always do, but I want you guys to guess what you think the payload number is on this truck. It's pretty high for a three quarter ton with this many options. So you gotta figure, go back to some of my other videos on the Ram 2500s I've done and kind of get a basis point, but this is a big horn. It has the Cummins, it has the straight and bed liner, all that extra stuff's gonna add weight to this truck. So let me know in the comment section what you think the payload of this truck is. If you don't know, payload's the most important thing when it comes down to towing. I think the second thing that's important is gross combined weight rating because of your state. So those two things you always wanna do research on. GCWR and your payload. The way the payload is determined is by the gross fuel weight rating, which is the maximum allowed weight on this truck, which is 10,000 pounds. And then you have to deduct your payload number to give you the curb weight. So you really need to do a lot of research. I'm thinking about doing some more videos really explaining in detail these things. So um, be sure to give me a thumbs up. Um, be sure to subscribe to this channel. Yeah, this truck handles like a big truck even with the air suspension, a little, you know, a little bit of um, sway, but that's just weight transfer because of how heavy this bad boy is. I mean, this truck probably still weighs close to 8,000 pounds, if not over 8,000. Wow, running at, what, what is that? 80 miles an hour almost at about 18 or 1900 RPMs. Not bad, not bad at all, guys. I mean, there's a little bit more um, noise at the higher speeds, but it's not bad. But guys, the ride is just amazing. So comfortable. I really hope that they raise their GVWR because I'm jumping back into 2500. If they do it, I don't know. Maybe I might get another 3500. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. But man, oh my goodness. This is a comfortable truck. Let me see if I can take it out of alternate trailer height while I'm driving. Selected right how you not permitted to do the payload. There you go. Can't do it. I'm gonna snake you, but I'll show you the numbers on the door right here. How about that? Alright, here we go. So as you can see, this truck does have a gross fuel weight of 10,000 pounds. Now something that's important too is your gross axle weight ratings, especially the rear. The front's gonna be 6,000 and the rear is gonna be 6,040. They did lower the gross axle for the diesels, but the gas engine axle ratio is higher because you can tow more with the gas truck in terms of payload. But you're going to have to figure out what this number is, guys. What do you think it is? Let me know in the comment section. If you're new to my channel, this is a very important sticker. You need to figure out how much cargo capacity you have. But on that note, thank you for your support. Thank you for your time. Thanks for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Be sure to be on the lookout. I'm going to do a video on the Winnebago. This is a Voyage. Now, it's not going to be this one, I don't believe. Hold on, let's look at the number. Ah, it's definitely not this one. But it's a little bit bigger than this one. And it has a 10,400 pound gross fuel Kuwait rating. Can this truck tow it? We'll find out in the next video. See you soon.